do you have to be living the dream or aiming towards a dream? Um, I know many people have this, for the Philippines, is this uh, postcard perfect um, expectation of the Philippines. It's taking you a lifetime to get there. Um, this is why I'm not one for getting there in 40 years time or whatever. I'm here today. I like micro ideas. I like micro goals, micro rewards. Um, for example, this month I got two Savile Row um, shirts. If you don't know Savile Row, Savile Row are the tailors of tailors. Um, you'll, you'll see, if you research them, you'll find out that um, even the word Savile Row have gone into some languages meaning tailor um, because they've been around forever and they're the gentleman's, gentleman's tailor. Um, the tailor I've got my eye on at the moment, um, suit start about five and a half thousand, uh, four and a half thousand pounds and they are the, for me it's, uh, I do like my suits and they, they have on their client list uh, previously Lord Nelson and the Duke of Wellington um, and uh, who else is on there? Oh, Winston Churchill and the present some members of the royal family. But that that's a micro goal for me. Um, I won't be getting it this year, by the way, but I set that goal. But the micro goal for this year was those shirts, and I've got them. I, I've already achieved that goal. They're not cheap shirts, but you can tell they're expensive shirts. Um, but, you you know, there's nothing like wearing quality. For me, this is that's my personal micro thing. But yours could be um, having a, a weekend dinghy you bought. You know, when I say dinghy, small, small boat, a bit like a yacht. Buying one having that um, creation of space for things to do at the weekends. Could be um, get a new set of golf clubs or something like that. Those are like micro goals. Those are things that you can achieve. But they don't have to always be materialistic. Taking my daughter to um, the Natural History Museum was a micro goal because for me, the Natural History Museum was something I remembered from a very very young childhood and at the same time I'm hoping my daughter remembers it in the same way. Um, it's one of those moments that stay with you. Um, so that's why I say um, don't wait for the 60, 40 years or to 65 to live the dream that you always wanted because the dream itself a lot of it is based on the American dream. The American dream being the little uh, little house with the white picket fence, the car, all that was set up, um, I believe, at the end of World War II to actually stop a political uprising. Because if you kept people busy, um, they're occupied, they don't create a, a fuss for politics. It's why in the West, uh, in the UK, with the garden centre, uh, all that stuff is part and parcel of that. It's to keep people busy. If people are busy, they don't... Um, get upset with uh, the government and as you can see look at the the, the mess ups that the governments have made um, and everyone still sits at home watching TV um, riddled with debt but that <laughs> that is the dream um, so that's what I'm saying micro dreams are much better micro ideas living your life life is only here once you can either sit there in the same job and not move things forward till your retirement day and then go and do what you want to do or you can live every moment for me this last couple of days have been quite tied down with these videos because i did promise dave i would tidy up some of my videos so i have been working on it um but from next week it's starting to focus on stuff uh, for the family, um, also to do some with my daughter uh, that's in the UK, um, separate from April and, April and the kids in Spain, so that, you know, as a family we've all got stuff going on. But the house is a goal for me this year, um, having that family home is a major one, but that will be over in 
done and dusted and paid for by the end of the year. Um, there's a yacht that's there long term. Because um, I need to... You might have noticed how I work finances. I don't go and buy something. Um, it's financed out of something else. The windows in the Philippines were, it, they were paid for out of PayPal payments off one of our enterprises. It wasn't paid from the salary I make um, by going out to work. The, that money is going in sa savings and investments for property and also the ISA funds and into uh, funding circle. Once that reaches a certain amount, that will start just looking after itself and I'll stop investing in that and then move money to something else. But every time I reach something, I have these little like mini uh, achievements where um, we have these micro goals like payday the last couple of months, April's had like little mini shopping sprees um, on payday. Um, simply because coming to Spain, we didn't bring um, as much as we would have liked to from Spain, uh, from the Philippines. So we reinvest, you know, we can have those moments. We, we save it somewhere else. So when we do have it, we do enjoy it. But micromanage your uh, achievements. Have something that adds value to your life. You should be enjoying it all the way. You should, should always be going, that's good, that's good, you know. Something to push you forward, that little carrot dangling that keeps you in, interested. Um, I'm tempted to go to Madrid, uh, Murcia, and to the Opera in Barcelona at some point this year. Those are on the cards already. And um, getting the calls come out from the UK to Spain um, is another little micro goal. As you can see, a lot of mine are family oriented because. It's either with with my wife and kids or with my wife, <laughs> um, because for me that's what matters to me. Um, but that's what I'm saying. If you're looking to go to the Philippines or whatever you want to do, remember enjoy enjoy things on the way. Um, life's only here once. If you don't live it this time, you don't get a rerun. Right, thanks for watching.